Ready? Dotson? Ready. Ross, ready. Here we are. It's Friday and it looks like it's gonna pour rain in New York City. It is so dark. It is we turned dark. on all the lights just so we could do this. Just so we could see the computer. And I'm exhausted. I was at the uh, ACDC concert. And Honey. I woke up. I woke up in the middle of the night, three, four o'clock in the morning, and couldn't go back to sleep because all of a sudden it hit me. I just cashed out of everything I had in the market, which is very little, but it is like supposedly my retirement, my sepiris. Your nest egg? Nest egg. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, what? You, well, Carlin told me, and she knows about me. <laughs> I had you call Fred. It's crazy. Well, it's crazy. It's just, you know, the whole thing with... When, when he said, you know, what about your retirement? I said, retirement? I'm 80. I just started a new business. I want to take whatever I have out, and I want to invest it in us. In well, my... when are you supposed to retire? You're not retiring. You're living your life, and you're going I have never, way. ever, ever planned on retirement. Artists do not retire. No, you keep on our, creating. Our work gets better as we get older. So today we're taking your questions. Blah, blah, blah. On anatomy. <laughs> hey! Blah. <laughs> Behave, Dotson. All right. <laughs> Today it's all about the female anatomy, which I was kind of inspired by Becky Chalker's talk yesterday. Yes, yes. At CUNY, that was really fun. Yes, bless her heart. On She's, the clitoral system. There's a lot more than just that little tip that we all say is the clitoris. That is the clitoral mm -hmm. glands. Then we have the shaft of the clitoris, the inner lips of the clitoris, the outer lips. The erectile tissue. All erectile, and then you go inside, you got the the what do you call them, the, the, the legs of the clitoris, and then behind that are the bulbs of the clitoris. It's a system. It's, That's what's so cool about it. Well, here's what we need to emphasize. Women have nearly as much erectile tissue as men. As men. And we have more nerve endings in the head of our clitoris than, than they, they have anywhere. anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> There's a vein system that feeds the uh, clitoris, the system, that whole area of your body, with blood. And that's why women can have multiple orgasms, because you have the blood just constantly flowing. With men, it goes into the penis and it gets caught there. They shoot. And then and they that's go, it. boom. And that's that refractory period. So our clitoral system, not just our clitoris, is so crazy that that's why we can have multiples. My inner lips are longer than my outer lips. Is this normal? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Inner lips can be longer. Uh, they can be a little bit. They can be a lot. They can be really long. And it is absolutely, totally normal. Now... The fact that women can't get this is driving me crazy. I've had to deal with it. Okay, let me... Let Balls me... are ugly. Penises aren't pretty. A lot of them are weird looking. Well, you know, guys... They're different colors. Some are circumcised. Some aren't. Some are to the right. Some are to the left. Feel... I mean, there's a range in dicks. They probably feel the same way. Yeah. They think something's wrong with their genitals. Okay, yeah. here's the thing. Word to the wise. You're not deformed. Go to the genital art gallery. Look ah. at all the penises. Look at all the vulvas. And you will find out you're not deformed. Yes, absolutely. There's a tribe in Africa that they actually stretch their inner lips to make them longer. I could do that. Because they say it's sexy. Like, that's their definition of, you could do that. I could do that. They would worship you there. I know. <laughs> I like, just, oh. all I have to do is put, put some rings, you know, pierce the rings and with some weight in them and keep getting, like they oh, do. Oh, oh, like stop, 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 stop. cute. Can I see my hymen in the mirror? No, sweetie. If you can, go to the doctor. You can't see it. If... They can see hymens in mirrors. You know how many women have gotten like lynched? But what it is is it's not really a, it's a it's little a membrane. It's a little membrane that covers the opening of the vagina, and it'll have a small, you know, some of it has room for your periods to come out, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. And the only time it's a problem is when it's thick. And natural finger poking won't well, dislodge it. Right. So then that's that's that requires. You know. I don't remember ever having one, but I was always athletic, and I think as a little girl, I must have lost it on some field. You know, I had my jumping, or I had my jump rope handle inside my vagina when I was. <laughs> 12, that's true. We were always 11. playing doctor. <laughs> I have a flat chest and a large clitoris. What's wrong with my body? She's afraid to have sex with guys or women because she's afraid that there's something wrong with her. Large clitoris, rub it, love it. Oh. A lot of guys like it because they can suck it during oral sex. The most viewed picture in the Journal Art Gallery is a picture of an elongated clitoris. If women, if we can't love and appreciate our, our genitals, well, our genitals, and then the body, I think, will just follow. Because I think genitals, you're right. If we can't appreciate, honor, and 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 
and, uh, and understand the power inherent in the female genitals, there's never going to be a women's liberation movement. Feminism will never... I feel like the final phase of feminism is sexual liberation. Which is what we're doing. <laughs> I know. So hopefully you all love our stuff. Yes, yes, to we're and busy, we're busy, we're busy. Send us your questions, we'll answer anything. Don't be scared and don't no. feel like we're going to judge you. And we change the names when we post them.